So in this presentation, I'm going to talk about a character which is pronounced Kai. Kai, and it means to open. To open. It can literally mean to open something. For instance, if you say Kaiman, it means to open a door. If you say, for instance, Kai uh, Hui, it means to have a meeting, to start a meeting, to open a meeting, or something like that. But you can find this morpheme in expressions where it's sort of slightly more difficult to trace it back to the to this root to open in words like li kai which means to leave or for instance if you tell someone to zou kai it means you tell him to basically to to get out of there to to scram so the character is a meaning meaning compound which means that all elements in it are pointing to its meaning and it consists of the following elements so the first one is this one over here which is pronounced mun mun in the second tone and it's a door door slightly actually it even resembles a door if you look at it it, it it's, does slightly resemble a door still even today and the second element is whatever is left if we want to be pedantic it is pronounced kai kai and it means to open but originally, it did, this, this element did not mean to open. It is just an arbitrary simplification of an earlier element that used to be in that place that was written like this. Something like that. And so it was an element which depicted two hands reaching for that sort of like that bar that... Um, is or used to close these these doors sometimes I think on these barns or sheds uh, or, or farming houses you can see these bars that are locking these doors sort of from the outside so basically these are two hands reaching for this bar and that was the element that used to be in the place of, of, of this element that you can see over here right now and so these basically one two three four strokes are only a simplification of of this thing right and then, incidentally, this element, when they were simplifying the traditional uh, characters, this element was chosen to represent this character as a whole in simplified Chinese. So let me show you how to write this character. It's not very difficult. You first choose the different colors. So you first do the door. First write, do the door. First write the door. And then you proceed to whatever is in the middle. So let's let me do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. So that's it for this presentation. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you see you in the next one.